Hi everyone, Linda Reed, and of our Think Epic Expert here, and here to show you a handy Think Epic tip and trick, and that is how to load videos to the video library or bulk import videos, and then be able to do it. Now we do a lot of our video editing cloud-based, so we like to go cloud by cloud connection. So if you go over here to your video library, you're actually able to import videos in, reuse them in different lessons, and then be able to upload it into Thinkific. Uh, there's a handy little archive tab that you're able to go through as well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna quickly show you how to upload one. We're just gonna upload a video that I've got, and I'm gonna pop it in here. Um, bear with me, no, I'm not wanting to show you from desktop, I'm wanting to show you from Google Drive. So if you click in with Google Drive or Dropbox, you can even go Facebook or wherever you are from there, hit the little sign in button, and it's gonna allow you to be able to bring in a video from that cloud area over here. So we're just gonna delve into my one, FastX, the platform that gets used to be able to do that. You've got to allow it to your Google Drive or your Dropbox account for it to be able to get in there and do those things from there. So what it does is it signs into Google and then you've got all your opportunities to bring in courses from, from that area. So you're able to have a look at your folders Organize your folders really well and you'll be you'll be good from there. Now, if I got a video in this one, I'm not sure if I do. No, I don't at this stage. So give me a second. We'll go back out of here and let's have a look at where we've got one. Um, no, I don't want to do that. Creating courses and challenges, working game resources. Do I have a video tutorial in this one? Here we go. We're going to bring up the morning session for this one. So what I'm going to do is just bring up the video. I hit the little upload button. I can upload more. I can go and select more, or I can just hit the upload button. What that does is it uses the cloud to cloud based technology to bring the video in. If you have a low internet, this is definitely a way that you want to be able to bring your videos in. When we had really, really bad regional internet, this is the only way we bought our videos in from our courses. So what we can see now is our creating courses and challenges morning session is popping up in here. It's loading. We're just going to wait for it to finish loading. And then we'll be able to go and add it to a lesson. So we can add it to the lesson in a number of ways. You can add it to a text lesson. You can add it to the video lesson. Um, and you can jump in from that point of view. So also you can use these videos to add to your landing pages as well. You've got OneDrive. You've got the opportunity to be able to connect in a number of spots. Just giving its final opportunity to sync across. And then we'll delve in and we'll finish the connection. Okay, our video is loaded. We can see it's here. It's going to process. It's going to take a little bit of time to process, but that's fine. Now we're going to, once it's processed, go and pop it into the lesson. So we might make it take a few minutes for us to be able to do it, but we might also be able to. So let's go and have a look at it from here. I'm just going to go over to courses over here and I'm going to pick my first course because it's not a lesson that's going to stay in this section over here, but I might go into our um, marketing planners tutorial. It's one of my hidden courses. And as I said, you can do it in a number of lesson types. So we'd add our lesson, we go for our video lesson over here, we go new lesson, we're going to select a video from our library. So we're going to look at courses. Actually, creating, there we go, there's our little session in here. It pops in here, we add our text, we can add our title, we hit save. And then our video is done. Our video is set and brought in that way. It's a lot quicker if you have slower internet and a really handy tip along the way. So there you go. There's how to use Google Drive or Dropbox to import videos into your thinking school a little bit quicker, a little bit faster and in bulk.